Thank you very much, all of you. Uh, I'll try and be, um, I've been repeating myself so many times. We have uh, church services at home every evening. Also within the house, we have uh, pastors coming to pray and so on. Then we already had a service yesterday. We also had a meeting in Sotik yesterday when we came. So Your Excellency, I'll try to be uh, very brief. Because really, I don't think I'm going to say anything that you don't know, uh, including uh, William and the Right Honorable uh, Raila Molodinga. Now, Joyce and me, we got married in 1983. And as you've variously heard, Joyce got sick in 1991. That is the first time she got an attack of cancer, cancer of the colon. Uh, that time, these boys were very young. We only had two children, and we only had those two. The others are foster, and the, the others we are supporting. So, unfortunately, as a result of that, we couldn't have any more children. But we thank God for it. I keep on saying that. Sometimes, when I say that, you might think that I'm regretting. There's no regret at all, because what God has given you is what you take. So she got sick that time, and... Um, we were devastated because we were about eight years into marriage and we were fairly young. Me and Joyce, we only have one year's difference in terms of age. So we got married when we were a very young couple and uh, I'm told that I was a dashing person and Joyce was a beautiful lady. I think it still holds. I'm not dashing anymore, but Joyce is still beautiful, even as she lies there. So that was the time. Uh, and when I was called to be counseled, because I took at Nairobi Hostel, I was working for a very good company here. I was an estate manager. And those days, the tea industry here was the in thing. We were the, it was the biggest industry, and everybody working there was an elite in the society here. Anyhow, she was taken to Nairobi Hostel, and she was uh, uh, being treated. And then I was called to be counsel. I remember it was an Indian lady. So he put me down. He called other people. And I was wondering, what is this? I was being counseled. The counsel was that we are going to treat Joyce. We may succeed or may not. That was number one. Number two, you are not going to bear any more children. Now, I don't think I listened to the second one. This is the first one that I had. So this counseling, they have to improve how to do their things. I only had the first one, that she might not leave. And I think from there onwards, I shut my mind. Because from there, I came to Kericho. The company had given me a car. When we reached the estate, I took my car and went straight to my mother. And I remember, Mama Damaris, I went and told her, you know, Mom, Joyce is dying. So I even surprised her. I don't think she, uh, she could understand what cancer is. What? So she told me, my son kneeled down. I knelt and we prayed. We prayed and he told me, Joyce will live if God wills. But please, remember, it is God who gives and it is God who takes. She didn't satisfy me. I don't think that is the kind of thing I wanted. But nonetheless, I went back to work and we worked. And by God's grace, she survived. And from that time to date, Joy survived. Last year, it came back. When it came back, we got seriously scared because this was now the second attack, same place. During that period, they were using two combined technology. It was, well, I don't know whether I should call it technology, but medical approach. It was chemotherapy and radiotherapy. They were both being applied to her. And if you see the pictures that uh, she did those times, she became very thin, the hair went, the, the socket sank, uh, she couldn't fit the clothes anymore, the mouth was drying literally. It, it really, and I saw it coming again this time. Uh, this time the doctors told us, you stand, uh, you know, a very small chance. So it happened last year. She's been going, I've been going with her to India. We go, we come back, we are given some medicine, we come and use, and so on and so forth. And uh, we've been doing a combined in of India, Kenya, India, Kenya, India, Kenya, but the main doctor has been Dr. Gradwell Kiarie and uh, the Dr. Amit, who is in India, is the one who was actually now kind of monitoring this. But we got the alarm when they came and checked and the medicine wasn't working. The growth was still going on. It, it, was, it was getting bigger. So, um, at that time, uh, I think the president got to hear about it. Jews were very good friends with the president. Uh, and thank you very much, uh, uh, Uru. Thank you. 
I don't know protocol, so if I keep on calling the names in that order, you'll excuse me because I'm not uh, a politician. <laughs> I was telling William that also. Yesterday I was calling him William, then I forgot that is his, his excellency. <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, <coughs> we realized the situation was not getting good. So Kiari advised us. He gave us two options. You can go back to India and this, and then we try now what is called um, a surgery, very radical surgery. Uh, when we went to England, the first thing they told us is that uh, let us kind of stabilize that. A lot of things were beginning to fail in our body. Uh, the kidneys were becoming a bit suspect. The stoma was no longer behaving as it should usually behave in a normal person. Uh, then other things also, other secondary diseases started coming in. Uh, low blood pressure until she was put in ICU when we were in, U in, uh, in UK and other things. Brian was always with me because we walked this journey along as he has said. When he came, it was an advantage. He had just left work, but when he came here, he got to work immediately of taking care of the mother. So we would alternate. So in UK, the doctors later on, they did what they call a daughter scan. Then they told me, no, 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 this thing, it has spread. And if we do what you want us to do here, she's not going to live any quality life. Go home. Now, as we are gathered here, you can imagine being told to go home and you're in the UK, and you have sought what is probably the best doctors. The hospital is, we are told in UK, it was, is the best. I mean, all references for cancer is done there, the Marsden Cancer Center. So, in between here, I talked to William. He called. William would call at very odd hours. Um, <laughs> I've never known what he does at one in the morning, but he did call. <laughs> so, when I told William that, he said, no, 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 my brother, you can't do that. There's no way you're going to come to Joyce, uh, bring Joyce home. But prior to that one, his Excellency, the President, had said a team of her friends to bring her home. That was the reality. And then we said, no, 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 we can't give up hope. So I also called the President and told him, please. Um, actually, it's not me who called the President, the one who called. And another thing, uh, Mr. President, uh, please, well, I'm too small, but you called me one time and I missed your calls and I got stressed. <laughs> I found three missed calls at night. I didn't know what to do. I'm calling back, he's not picking. I'm doing this. Uh, luckily, there's somebody in his office, and I, I pleaded with her, please, just get out of your house. Go and tell the president I'm calling. <laughs> She's not telling me anything. I realized I was, I'd gotten out of bed, and I'm talking. Uh, well, I normally don't sleep naked, but I was a bit... Uh, <laughs> Eventually, when I got him, he just asked me a very simple question. Are you people all right? That is just all. Can you imagine? I slept very heavily that night, but thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, that was that. Then we went to India. So the Indians also started doing their own thing. They, but they gave, they gave us hope. They told us, we can actually do something. And we thought it's a bit better because Indians are more proactive. They are not like... Uh, uh, wazungus. You know, Wazungus are a bit litigious. They think we can do something, these fellows can take us to court and we are going to... Indians can take a risk. But they also told us we cannot do anything. That is when we knew we had hit the end of the road. And I wish to apologize to you people of Bomet, because I was not able to share those, that kind of information, even in the social media, among the DG, the CS, the COG, the leader uh, the Bomet leader in parliament, their parliament, the local parliament. I couldn't share that kind of thing. Because you all know Joyce was not a dramatist. Joyce hated drama with a passion. One, she also didn't like sympathy. And yesterday I narrated part of it, like when we were having the run here to raise money. That time she was already sick. Not very sick, but sick. And she got that attack again. We were running, running, then she said, now I'm not feeling well. Uh, I, I asked Jane that time to put her in a car. 
take her in another distance, then she can run a bit, the cameras can take her, then she take her another distance like that. Then uh, when we reached the stadium, it got worse. We got and put her to a hotel, Brevan. We booked a room there and she slept. When the DP came, when we heard the chopper is about to land, she quickly got up, wiped her face and came and put up a very brave face. So none of you in Bumetia knew that. She wasn't a dramatist. So she'd, she'd rather keep it to herself than have people sharing and sympathizing and so on and so forth. And I think you also saw that, as, as we met people here, I'm sure you've never seen Joyce with chess cars. I'm 100% sure you've seen that. She gets upset when things are following us, the people are running, one is running to open the door, another one is doing what, what, what. She, she didn't quite like that. She didn't, and when she came to Nairobi, more often than not, I would actually even take her to the saloon. So you'd find the Ascari running because you also got a duty. There's no way you can sit in the house that the, the, the boss doesn't want him to be there. So that was the kind of life Joyce led. This is the simplicity you've had the children talking about. It's the humility you've literally had everybody talking about. It's the goodness in her that you've, it's been repeated over and over and over again. And uh, what captured uh, me so much was when we had the Kenya High students coming in, in, uh, in the house the day before yesterday. Uh, children from Kenya High with the principal, he came with Joyce's file in school and was telling us what she was during the formative stages when actually that is when you leave your childhood and became an adult and that more or less de determines what you're going to be for the rest of your life. She told us very nice things about Joyce. In the file you open, she's either number two, it was number two up to eight. It was two, two, number one, she just got ones. Two, two, eight, two, like that, there. And then all the good things, each and every single thing you can say about a student was there. They put a picture there and I can tell you I don't think that was her. Because she, <laughs> I, don't, I think she got more beautiful with time. <laughs> At least when, <laughs> but that was it. So she was an exemplary person. In fact, I was telling the teachers that I wish you had told me this a, a long time ago. Maybe I could have behaved a little bit differently, but not so much. I could probably have added a little bit of spice, but she was good. Very, very good person. They gave me that thing, and I'm going to keep it as a monument. Hopefully, God willing, I'll probably put a nice place for her where we are going to bury her home. It's not uh, a grandeur, grandeur's place. We are very simple. You'll come and see. And that is how we lived. We didn't believe in touching anything. And Joyce will tell you, I'm a contractor. But in this moment, even if you walk, what distance, what length, you will never find that I ever picked a job to do here. That is not in Joyce's house. <laughs> and facilitating me to do a job, then I get money, then what? Which you, no, that was not Joyce. And I'm sure all you people will bear that out and you'll see it and you'll believe that is what Joyce was in her life. And that is what we were in our life. So we just have our own simplicity and we believe God has given us enough to keep us going. So, um, uh, I'll talk about Joyce's friends, if you allow me. From the time I met Joyce, she had friends. Today I decided to list them. I realized yesterday I missed out some. There was Christine Maingi, luckily she was in church yesterday. There was Nora Ombese. There was Rachel Mrabu. Catherine Agoya. Jane Garari, later, but for a very long time, they've been friends. And lately, Rachel Shebesh, Beatrice Elachi, Lesuda, Cecily Mbarire, Anwe Guru, and thank you, Anne, you've been a pillar, Ngilu Charity. Now, there were families, James and Mary Kimonye. Kimonye and Mary, I think you all know, she was, uh, we knew them when they were still very young couple. We were with them in UK. Judith Abondo, Amy Williams, I'm American. I'm sure she's going to arrive here tomorrow. Then there's Professor Wu and Monica, and the family of Herbert and Gondi. Why am, why am I saying this? Look at that galaxy of friends. Jews did not concentrate on a region. She did not concentrate on a tribe. 
And yesterday I told in the church, I think that is the reason why she married me. She wasn't seeing a Kepsikis, a Luo, a lawyer, Siji, what, what. All these things that people put you, yet they have got no control about it. You were just born a, a Kepsikis, for instance. What did you do about it? You were born a Kikuyu. What did you do about it? So why do you stress others with your tribe? <laughs> Nonetheless, that is how she uh, encapsulated everybody and all of us. And uh, love, I used to call her love. In, my, in her phone, she saved me a sweetheart, SH. She didn't write it in full. She just wrote SH. So if you go the, through the phone, but when she became governor, she changed. I think people were holding her phone a lot. <laughs> so love, rest in peace, and we'll try to emulate you in that region. And I think and I believe that I'm also uh, her student in a way. I've not been subjected to culture. Because if I was subjected to culture, I could not have allowed Joyce to be brought to their home again, to be brought here. I could just have invoked some silly clause that helps nobody, that my wife must be taken home direct. That is not our life. And I believe even in culture, it is done to regulate and help people think and behave. It is not a punishment. So I wish to appreciate uh, Gladwell Kiarie, a primary doctor. Gladwell, wherever you are, thank you. She came to UK. She also went with us to India. And her team, and they had a very helpful person called Joram. Dr. Mongera, I wish to thank you very much. That's a kidney specialist. Dr. Chacha. They call, they've got now a very serious name, interventional something. Dr. Muhindi, the heart person, and Dr. Kanye. I wish to thank you very, very much. In UK, we are Dr. Khan, and I also would like to talk a little bit about Dr. Khan. When he went there, he also didn't know that Joyce is a governor. And nobody told him. I think he just went and Googled. Then he came and told me, come, come, Mr. Bon, you mean your wife is a, a governor? I said, yes. Why? No, no, he's a very serious person. So you governors, you're very serious out there. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, carry yourself with that dignity in home here. <laughs> in India, it was the same. Nobody knew. And for information, this last time we went to India, this was the fourth time we were going to India. The three times we've gone to India, even the High Commission wasn't aware. We would just go, get our Uber, get to the hostel, come to the hotel. Get our Uber, go to, uh, get our hotel. That's how we've been behaving. But this last time, I think uh, when the president coughed, you know everybody catches cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Dr. Amit, Sargarwal, Alka, all those specialists, I wish to thank you very, very much. Now, this, this has been repeated over and over again, but please allow me to repeat. Uh, the team that worked under Joyce, but I'll start with our workers. In our house, we have a lady called Susan who has worked for us for a very long time. She's taken good care of us. And I do hope that with the passing on of Joyce, we'll also still be able to retain you. Uh, thank you very much. Betty, Tele, there's Bernard who runs around. You always meet him. He's running. Any, anytime you tell him something, he just runs. Then he forgets, then he comes back. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> So if you just tell him, tell him, he's gone then, Ulisama Namnagani, so Nuliko Nakimbia Wapi, Bernard. So thank you very much. There's one who left us, but she was a wonderful lady. She's called Monica. I wish to thank her because I know Joyce really appreciated them and really uh, trusted them a lot. Drivers, Chep Kwon, we've been with you for a long time. God bless you. If we'll be able to maintain you, we will. If not, unfortunately, it will be that. Sigei, Thank you. Musa, who was doing CDF, then for some reason he left CDF, then came to our team again. Doctor, we call him Doctor, and Agri. Those are our drivers. I wish to thank you very much. For the security team, there's a lady called Joyce. I don't know whether Joyce is here. <clears throat> I want you to give this lady a special clap if you loved Joyce.
sit down. This lady kept vigil over Joyce. When we were first went to, to UK, in fact, everybody was wondering, why should I go with my wife? But I wish to tell you that I wasn't comfortable. I didn't know how it was going to end, and that is how it has ended. I was seeing it like this is the last time I'm going to be with her, and I wasn't going to be away from her. But nonetheless, we went with, the, with, the, uh, uh, with Joyce. She's also called Joyce. And she would spend all the night in the hospital. I would be there during daytime, but she spent all the night. There are certain procedures or cleaning which I couldn't do, she was doing. And she did it. Mm. <laughs> I know she's crying. Don't. Because you'll make me cry too. <laughs> so, she kept vigil. All the night vigils was her. I would come, sometimes I tell her, why don't you even take a break? Go away. No, I'm not leaving mama. That is a special lady. Um, Augustine, I'll not press you on that line because you couldn't have done it none anyway. Your name just disqualifies you, but you are a good person. Chepkwony, Langat Raymond, we've been you for a very long time. God bless you. Sergeant Maritim, Senior Sergeant, thank you very much. And another of our security, we call him Masai. I wish to thank you very, very much. Now, for Bomet and Sotik, if I start with Sotik, for you to have given Joyce this opportunity to serve you, I thank you. Bomet, against all odds, one of the biggest things that people started off with, she's married to Aluo, Sijinini. There were some pictures that were put of me. There was another black man they used to portray who doesn't have teeth. I don't know what happened to his teeth. Now, this Luo man became the symbol of Abonyo. This fellow didn't have teeth completely. He was very black. For some reason, his head was a bit big. Uh, that's a natural phenomenon. There's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> but he was posted and posted and reposted. He really, he was trending. That's what they say. <laughs> the fellow trended until they see me in a meeting. They said, knew you. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, I thank you. Those are the negative things. They are very positive things. There's a lot more positive than negative. And anyway, negative doesn't go far. Positive comes slowly, but it's very certain, solo and sure. So under Hilary Barchok, Barchok, thank you very much. You worked with Joyce very well. And you all know that Joyce was a professional. Even Joyce choosing you, she didn't know you. You know that? Even when we came looking for you in the university, we were just being told, in this area, the person who fits is this. is like this, like this. He's a Christian. He's good. He's doing church work. He's also a lecturer. For some reason, she had a leaning for lecturers. So that also helped you a lot. And we started looking for you. We were even trying to put some papers <laughs> at the last minute, you know, until to a point that we, we almost got disqualified. But nonetheless, if you can carry that professionalism, it will be very good. She wanted everything to be done professionally. And uh, of course, naturally, with that position, you must have somebody who is very close to you. And that is how she picked Jane, because Jane was the cousin. All of you, to a person, Joyce took you because of what you are and what you can do. So if you don't perform, if you don't do it, you are letting her down instantly. You don't even need to wait for Barwachok. You, you don't worth it because that is what she did. It was professional, professional, professional. I remember some fellows coming and telling her, no, 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 in politics you must have uh, people who saying, you no, 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 that was not Jace. She wanted things to be done properly and she loved you people of Bomet. Please remember that all the time, all the time. Thank you. So, Senator Langet, thank you. Also, women rep Joyce, thank you. Both of you came to India, and uh, you saw your governor. All MPs, Beatrice, you are a very nice lady, uh, though we come with you a little bit far, because we worked with Connes, we are both estate managers, and we didn't know that one day you'll both end up in politics, you and Joyce. 
Ronald, thank you. I met you during the last last times, but uh, I remember you tried also coming and I stopped you. Uh, Sonko, Sonko came to India with, uh, with, um, with Ruto. And at this point, I would like to thank uh, Ruto too. Uh, Ruto Isaac, he also came all the way. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dominic and Brighton, the two young MPs we have here, you all know we are gravitating towards youth. You are the fellows who are going to change this place. Please use, use your age positively. You have time, you have energy, you have brains. Please use it positively. Don't try to amass. That is the thing that hurts people everywhere. Every leader, when you meet him, they just want more and more and more and more. You don't even know what they want it for because sometimes they only have two children, one child, but they want to own everything. <laughs> so, the MCAs, thank you. You are a pillar to Joyce. She formed, the, there are some things that were being done. I could hear her talking. I wasn't taking a lot of interest, but because of proximity, I could hear things. The proximity helped me to know a lot of things. But I could hear she saying, oh, my people are doing very well. My soldiers, my what? So UMCS, please be united under your, your speaker and work the way you are doing. In fact, when you are there, your majority leader was always calling me, Mze, he calls me big brother. Mze, tafadhali, kitu isi kusumbu yata kidogo. Kitu isi kusumbu yata kidogo. Kitu. That is a very good spirit. Thank you very much. Um, that was Shadrach and Kirui, the speaker. Thank you very much. Now, National Assembly, Mr. President, thank you. God bless you abundantly. <laughs> abundantly. The President supported us immensely, and we have some things outstanding, and she said he's going to sort it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. William, you have allowed me to call you William. <laughs> Gentlemen, William is a great man. William has got what is called Utu. William, thank you. Thank you. You know, if I talk about you, I'll, maybe I'll uh, break down. I've been very strong. I've been told that, and I'm going to be like that until tomorrow. If you meet me the day after tomorrow, please just know you, uh, it's still me, but I had to go through this, this uh, whatever. So, and your wife, Rachel. Rachel sent a prophet to come and pray for us, and she called to find out how we are doing. Please put your hands together for Rachel. We have another great lady by the name Ada Odinga. She was a teacher to Joyce yesterday. She spoke in church, and she mentioned how they had met and uh, what Labosa had done, how she saw Joyce, how she ended up well, all those things, all the nice things. But in church, rather in the, in the hostel we met, I greeted her, she told me, what are you doing here? I told her, Joyce is in the hostel here. She turned around and went and took an hour with Joyce, and they spoke. It's a great lady. Right, Honorable? They keep on praising me. Can I also praise you, although you are old? <laughs> Ada is great. Thank you. Please clap for Ada. And the Right Honorable also came, uh, he, he came to, to UK. I'm not sure whether you're coming to see Joyce or it was a, a stopover. <laughs> <laughs> I joke with him, he's my elder brother. But thank you very much. In the hospital he came twice in the ICU. When we, when we came from India, Joyce went straight to ICU. So he came there and then he also came to the house and condoled with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I have to mention some special governors here. Uh, Narok, Tunai. I don't know whether Tunai is here. Is here? I'm not going to ask you to stand. Please don't stand. I might be condemned. <laughs> but you can wave. I think stand and wave tonight. It is now to the crowd, not to me. That is, that is Joyce's friend. During the time we were campaigning here, other than the president and the deputy, the president so much, tonight also would chip in. And uh, I thank you tonight for that. Um, of course, Charles Keter, without doubt, he came and found us in India. We were at a, a very 
distressed state. Something has happened which I've not told the president, but I'll tell him later. We were at a distress, but he helped us out, and we managed to come here. Governor Chepkon, thank you. You came to UK. You also came to India. Thank you very much. You've also told me you are related. I was learning for the first time, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, the other leaders, the women rep, Joyce. Joyce, please, I've not forgotten you. Thank you. You came with Beatrice, and I wish to thank you very much. And the president, your men, the president's men, Matiangi, Kibicho, none, they were all there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, but Matiangi, for information, maybe it doesn't tell you. But me, you see, me, I really don't care because there's nothing you can do to me so much. <laughs> Matiangi were friends with Joyce from Egerton. Is that right? They were friends from Egerton. They were both lecturers. So they also have their own line. So thank you, Fred. God bless you very much. I think I've done everything. I've told you about the sickness. I'm remaining with the church, the soul. We are domiciled in ACK. I was baptized, born under CK, ACK. When my mother was praying, it was ACK. Everything, my mother-in-law was ACK. We are all ACK. But because of proximity, we pray in AGC. In Kericho, we're praying in AGC, Kericho. We came to Nakuru. When we moved to Nakuru, before Joyce became an MP, uh, AGC was the closest. We prayed there. By that time, we had Bishop Langat. I think you all know now he's in the US. That was our bishop, um, our reverend then. When we came to Nairobi, we had Morunga, Pastor Morunga, then now Bones, and so on. Uh, oh, I've forgotten Senator Langat. Yes. I didn't appreciate Senator Langat. I think I did. I did, I did. So, uh, that is how we are. You heard the bishop saying that we belong to two denominations. We are ACK. Even my marriage, we, certificate and so on, all of it is ACK. But uh, uh, just uh, long at our bishop, um, we all believe in God. We'll still pray in your church. We're not going to stop that. Because, and we'll support any church, you know. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The current leader of, a, of uh, ACK had... He stayed at home, in, uh, right here in Sotik. He started in ministry there, and Kericho. So he's a product of here. And when I called him, he, he couldn't be with us here. He's out, out of the country. But, you know, that is how religious we are. So thank you. Thank you very much. So I also wish to thank Reverend Uwur. Just before Joyce died, just before Joyce died, we were all in the hospital. Then uh, Uwur came. And he said he was anointing, he's, he's appointed by um, the church, uh, rather by the, the hospital, to be helping people. So he came and anointed Joyce. He had some oil. He said he came with it from Egypt. He did like that here. Did another one here. I think there was another one here. <laughs> On the upper side. But he did them. And uh, in a span of 20 minutes, Joyce was gone. So I thank him because he prayed for us at that time. I also wish to, pa to thank Bishop Joshua Witte and Bishop Ngeno who prayed for us yesterday. I thank you very, very much. I think I've spoken too much, but you'll forgive me because I might not get another chance to speak to you people who have met. But may God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>